Today we're going to be finishing up three Trash to Treasure Waste Not Wednesday ideas that we started live. We're going to include all the steps so you know how to create these three dressers. We get asked a lot about uh, sanding and what, oh this is really too much paint on this. Anyways, we get asked a lot about sanding and whatnot. The DIY paint sticks to pretty much everything. So picture this little piece inset into here. All the harder decoupage paper is, is getting it cut the right size, right? And then put your, your medium down. I like to put it a little bit thinner so I don't get as much bubbling and wrinkles in the paper. And then go back over the top. And when that dries, that'll be on there until you don't want it to be on there. Okay, this is the last one, right? Yeah. You can see the cuts. <laughs> don't 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 sweat it. Like just just go for it. Oh, why you gotta show them my cuts, man? I just I want to show them because the end result's gonna be amazing. And I think some people really get eye twitches out there when stuff's not even. And I've I'm an eye twitch guy but I've gotten, I've had to learn to just let things go because the end result, when we distress and, and uh, you know, sand it and put the waxes off, don't pull that, just, just leave it till we distress it. Okay, <laughs> well I gotta fix this edge. Um, it doesn't, like, it doesn't matter until it's all the way done. If I had this taped down nice and it wasn't like bowed because it's hanging over the edge, total, total swirl application on this. Hey guys, welcome to Waste Out Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. and we take junk that's given to us for free or that we find on the side of the road and we turn it into home decor and furniture that we sell in our store and online at jamierayvintage.com. And today for you, we have... Hopefully the drawers don't fall out when I lean this forward. <laughs> this awesome dresser. That, oh, yep, there, they go. there we go. <laughs> So some of this veneer probably won't come off right away and I might have to get out there and sand it. Sometimes veneer is like it comes off halfway really easy and then the rest of it you got to really fight it because I, I don't want to fight this forever. Give it some extra like texture. We can stain it dark with dark and decrepit. So I think that's going to be a good option. Guys, who's into hot air balloons and uh, aviation? So I'm able to set that all the way down on the bottom there. We are taking this dresser that one of our followers found by the dumpster and texted us and we were able to save that. And then we have a mirror that did not belong to this dresser but that somebody dropped off for us at the shop. And we're gonna take this dresser and this mirror and turn them into one piece. We're gonna marry them up. You can see this big pink blotch. Someone used the top of this old antique serpentine dresser to use uh like do their nails or something or spilled like a whole thing in nail polish that's not the kind of texture we want we don't we want it to be uniform not just like weird blobby texture so i'm just sanding it this is 220 grit a lot of people you guys know that we don't have to sand before we paint using the diy paint but just know that whatever's underneath is what's going to show on top which in this case is good because we're going to be showing that raised stencil through the top coat of paint but we don't want the hot pink blob situation to come through so we've got to get that mostly off of there we have salt wash going into our bowl when you're making traditional salt wash it's like a one-to-one -one ratio but when you're making just a texture medium you're just trying to thicken it up think of like using like a spackle type paste situation i like the salt wash better because it's going to change the color
color of your paint. And it, it really adheres well. Do you want the little blade or the big blade? I think little. I'm gonna go little blade. Do you want me to take that on there for you? Nope. All right. Here goes nothing. I just, you know, sometimes when you're doing stuff, you can't be apprehensive about it. Worst case, we lift this up, it's all smeared and weird, and we wipe it back off. So you can kind of see where the mylar is. It, you, it kind of scrapes across, but then it sticks down into the stencil. And it's really hard to do this type of technique with a cheap stencil that's not thick because you need that thickness for your texture medium to sit down in. So that's one of the things that makes the JRV stencils unique in that we make our stencils thick enough that like when I manufactured them, um, my manufacturer was like, are you making construction stencils for sidewalk? We're finishing up painting this dresser. We started with a raised stencil and aviary using salt wash. And I'm just using white swan, just in a single coat to go over it. And then we will distress it, bringing back that awesome texture from the stencil. This is what that other drawer looks like that we finished. We're gonna leave the natural wood look on this piece on the base of the dresser. We're just gonna do the painting on the drawers. Oh, we've got some damage on the top and this has got to come off. It's like nail polish, something, I don't know what. It's already chipped down through the veneer in some places, so I just really want to get this a nice even tone and sand it as lightly as I can so that when we put the dark and decrepit on, it can just absorb down in and get a nice even sheen. Now that we've got the top sanded, we've got a few other issues to address. Got some scrapes over here, some light staining where it probably wasn't sanded very well on some redo. I'm just gonna take the 220 grit sandpaper off the sander, scuff some of this up. I'm not gonna sand it super hard or all the way down to the raw wood. Just to give it a little bit of tooth and maybe some uniformity. So we're gonna just go ahead and brush on a coat of dark and decrepit and then do a coat all over the body and then we might have to do a second coat on the top, we'll see, because we want them to be even and match. Looks a lot better than that pink nail polish. Oh yeah. Some little kid got in a lot of trouble. In fact, you know what, while we have this brush out, we need to touch up Eliza's dresser. She got nail polish on her <laughs> She got nail polish on her dresser. Speaking of which, that's the nice thing about dark and decrepit. It does make it for an easy touch up. Well, it's, got that, it's got that built-in sealer, so it, it's, I don't want to say it's a gel stain, but it works a lot like a gel stain. Only it's water-based and it dries. Gel stain takes forever to dry. It's a lot thinner, it's not goopy. Yeah, with this heat that we're having currently, that'll be dry in probably about 20 minutes. This will also even out the tone of the stain without having to strip it. It's kind of a red stain before, so if we just did the top, it would look different, but this, it's gonna make it all match. This might have to be two coats on the side here. For sure, anywhere that we sanded it down, you usually have to do two coats to make it even. Now that we've got this texture, we could wet distress it like we did in our live video, but we decided it would be easier to just go ahead and hit it up with our random orbital sander and 220 sandpaper. We're also gonna have to sand all the edges where we've got a little bit leftovers from the texture and stenciling, so that way it's nice and smooth. I almost forgot we're gonna be putting this harp and mirror on here. And so I'm just gonna put a coat of dark and decrepit on here to help that stain match the same coloration. It'll probably take two coats. All of this is probably gonna take two coats. This is pretty well dry. I'm gonna go on with the second coat and that's gonna really even us out. I've got Sweet Pickens top coat loaded up in the hopper on this sprayer. This is just a HVLP sprayer made by Central Pneumatic. I get mine at Harbor Freight. Usually when they're on sale, they're around 10 bucks. If they're not on sale, I think they're 15 to 20, somewhere in there. Still pretty inexpensive, decent little sprayer. We're going to go ahead and seal this up again, just because we didn't do a full sand except for the top. We just want to help it have a little extra durability. And since I'm going to be spraying the drawers anyway, it just takes a couple minutes to spray this whole thing and get a good coat on it.
All right, I got. I didn't take this mirror off. I could have the back unscrews, but it's kind of fragile because this is an antique mirror. So I'm just gonna scrape the dark and decrepit on this beveled edge and it's coming right off. So it's been really busy, but we managed to find a time to finish all three of these projects that have been sitting around left over from Waste Not Wednesday. We hope it inspires you to get to your projects and get them done even if they're half finished. If you want to create this look or purchase these dressers, you can go to jamierayvintage.com. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.